Hello beautiful Libras, this is going to be your December reading. I apologize for the delay, there's been a lot going on on my end and here we are, your messages are never late. So how about that, all right? So for those of you who are new around here, hello, hi and welcome. My name is Victoria from VX Prada. Thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna be looking into the energy surrounding Libra this December 2020, of course, like I said. So if your sun, moon, rising or Venus is in the sign of Libra, these messages are for you. We're gonna start off with overall energy surrounding a career and finances and then we're going to be looking into your love life this december all right i hope you're well libra um right off the bat we got the page of pentacles and the lovers i'm feeling as though a lot of you guys are feeling inspired by a new project either you are finding this inspiration within yourself or maybe there is a love interest or at least like a business partner that you are teaming up with and gaining a lot of inspiration from this person may also have um fire placements within their chart so um aries leo sagittarius but i'm definitely feeling as though um you are teaming up with someone and feeling inspired to take action with them okay so i feel so again this could be your partner even if you aren't really doing business with your partner i feel so they are putting you on to like kind of like a business mentality or something like that this could also be um people that you're really vibing with at work as well but with the um lovers card i do feel so there's some slight romance here we also got the three of swords so it's kind of like you are um finding someone like a backup plan a backup person it's kind of like one thing one work opportunity or one relationship even doesn't work out and then all of a sudden you are in alignment with someone that is better suited for you someone that helps you tap into your uh, creative spirit yeah we got the knight of cups so this person's actually coming their way to you and they're here to help you build i feel so you haven't been satisfied with the way your finances have been going you're not satisfied with your outside appearance for instance i feel as though you want to be like put together for course i mean obviously you're libra and i feel so this person sees everything that you want to manifest for yourself essentially what i'm saying is that someone is coming through here and they're seeing the potential in you so you could be getting hired at a new job you could be having a lot of job offers on the table as well i'm really picking up on a lot of opportunities for you to choose from at this time a lot of people are um, putting their faith in you a lot of people are finding you attractive i feel um i'm also going to tell you that you are now leveling up when it comes to finances or your work your career and you may have to kind of just keep in mind of the new kind of attention that will be coming your way during this time okay because you may be attracting uh partners whether it's again platonic or romantic you may be attracting new people into your life that are only attracted to you because of what it is you can offer them so whatever it is like um maybe it's your appearance like how good you look next to them um maybe someone is just like maybe hiring you for instance due to a quote Quota that they need to reach something like that it's, it's mentioning here just like be careful of superficial people be careful of um, putting too much attributing too much importance towards your uh, materialistic goals okay i feel so money is still looking good though and like i said it's looking really fruitful this december really fruitful a lot of opportunities here especially when it comes to work and i feel so you are supported i'm feeling a lot of people coming to you with new ideas as well um you may also be feeling like someone's coming to you with an idea that you already thought of in the past so let's say for example you always want to start a jewelry business all of a sudden someone is coming to you and they're like hey i really want to start a um, jewelry business can you get in on this with me and you're like oh my gosh i was just thinking about that or that's something i wanted to do a long time ago i'm also picking up on you doing something better than someone else so if you have been wanting to start something initiate something in terms of business finances i urge you to get started i feel as though you have the smarts to be able to make it work and make money off of it um there's like a unique perspective that you have that others may not have especially when it comes to your experience i feel so you may be more experienced in this field or something like i don't know you just have like insider intel when it comes to something that requires like is like the key to success basically does that make sense okay we're gonna move on to love energy surrounding libra and love this december energy surrounding libra and love this december these readings are gonna be a little quick and easy energy surrounding libra and love all right so 
we got the lover's card in reverse i definitely feel so some of you guys are falling out of love with the connection okay falling out of love or realizing that your love life is just not satisfying you right now um no matter what you're going through i feel so you're going to be focusing more and more time and energy towards healing towards health uh health and also yourself, okay? I'm seeing a lot of you are overcoming trauma, um, especially trauma that happened within the last 10 days or 10 weeks or 10 months. Um, it's something that happened this year that you're still kind of kind of trying to get over. I feel as though you are slowly but surely releasing any type of negativity when it came to your love life and any type of trauma that you've experienced. Um, I'm also picking up on you slowly but surely getting back into your work groove. I feel so a lot of you were being distracted by a um, likely unhealthy dynamic, and I feel as though that's kind of why your um your work was kind of suffering from that okay so those of you who had to walk away from a relationship for instance that was draining your energy and not allowing you to make enough money or the amount of money that you wanted i feel so you guys are specifically the ones that are going to be aligning yourself with a business partner okay like the energy that i was picking up on uh previously okay um, I'm also seeing uh, some of you are walking away from someone. This could be a Gemini placement. Some of you guys are walking away from someone that is simply not putting in the energy into whatever connection you're trying to build with them, okay? I'm really picking up on someone, uh, a foundation here that is built on trauma bonding, also a foundation that is built upon mostly sex, and I feel as though there's nothing deeper to it. Someone here is, again, just not putting enough energy into a dynamic, and it's kind of like making the dynamic fizzle out. There's no more romance, there's no more passion, none of that. A lot of you um, were involved in a karmic uh, relationship or a karmic connection that was meant to teach you how to be independent Dependent and also teach you the value of a strong family unit, okay? Some of you guys may have even moved out from your parents' home or your family's home, for instance, to be with this person, and that did not work out. Some of you maybe are repeating, if you come from a broken home, for instance, some of you are actually realizing that you're repeating the same cycles that you observed growing up. They are now uh, manifesting one way or another into your love life, okay? So you're guided to definitely take a moment and sit down and pay attention to any type of lessons that the universe is trying to show you when it comes to your love life i'm really picking up on repeated trauma generational trauma just kind of like needing to sit down with yourself and um yeah check in with yourself make sure that you're not just repeating the same thing over and over again i'm also getting a lot of virgo energy here you may have venus in virgo or maybe you're dealing with the virgo but i feel so whatever it is you need to be more nitpicky about who it is that you give your time and energy to okay um it's not enough that someone um looks good on paper or sounds good on paper it's not good enough that this person looks good next to you um it's really like what are they bringing to the table and what can they how how can they enhance your life okay essentially all right, Libra, so I'm going to pull some more cards on the energy surrounding your love life, and then we're going to move on to the overall spiritual energy surrounding you for the rest of December, okay? So more energy surrounding Libras in love, please. More energy surrounding Libras in love. Okay, yeah, we got the cherry card. A lot of you guys are moving out, I really feel like, especially if you were living with your partner. Some of you guys are just moving out from your parents' home, something like that, but I'm definitely seeing, uh, mentioning you're moving out. I'm also seeing you saying no to any form of peer pressure, whether it is pressure that you're putting upon yourself when it comes to your love life or pressure that is coming from your partner or any outside energies, this could also be family members. I'm seeing you really needing to put the, your foot down and say no to certain things, especially things that don't make you feel comfortable, certain things that don't make you feel safe and secure. We got the temperance card in reverse. There's definitely a lack of balance here when it comes to your love life, Libra, and I need you to acknowledge whatever it is that needs to be um, addressed so that you can actually live your best life you are a lover you are balanced and i feel as though again how are you able to bring any type of balance into your love life or any type of situation for that matter if you are not opening yourself up to the blessings that the universe has for you okay does that make sense yeah Let's see more of Magician card in reverse. You need to break outside your comfort zone. You need to break outside your shell. You're not manifesting the life that you want to be living, okay? This this goes for love, of course, but this goes for like all other types of like situations you got, especially when it comes to your um, finances as well. It's important for you to remember the fact that you actually are in control of what it is that you invest your time and energy into and what it is that you choose um, brings value into your life, okay? so. That makes sense. <laughs> We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. There's too much sadness here, uh, Libra. I feel as though you are unhappy and it's time for you to just like, just like make a decision already so that you can like manifest better for yourself, okay? Let's pull some um, cards on the spiritual energy surrounding you at this time. Overall spiritual energy surrounding Libra for the end of December. 
it's kind of somber energy here and i feel so you don't feel your best when you don't have you know a partner by your side you may not feel your best when things again are not balanced okay i see the light card in reverse so it's difficult for you maybe to be feeling uh, positive at this time feeling beautiful even at this time i feel so you may not be feeling your very best there's mentioning of the number 19 so i don't know if the 19th of december is a significant date for you i don't know if that's today low-key but anyway let's move on the 9th or the 10th okay the 9th the 10th or the 19th maybe a significant date for you this december let me see more for libra sun moon rising venus i'm also picking up on you having um implementing like okay I'm, I'm not sure what this is called but like it's kind of like when you are like meditating but you're facing a mirror i feel so you need to look at yourself in the mirror for a long time or just get mesmerized lost in the mirror lost in your reflection something like that and i feel so this is going to help you like reconnect with yourself and like tap into yourself i hope that that makes sense but that's just what i'm picking up on we got the base chakra choose wisely you have to be very choosy this december about who it is that you are sleeping with essentially who it is that you're sharing your body with i'm feeling as though there could be like um energies of course everything that we do is like an energy exchange i feel so you need to be very picky and choosy of the way that you utilize your body and also utilize your sexual energy first and foremost okay so this isn't only for those of you who are sexually active or those of you who are not sexually active it's just a matter of um honing in that sexual energy and channeling it into something productive something that um you can be proud of you know channeling into maybe um a creative outlet for instance okay channeling it into a source of inspiration we also got the transformation and we got the waiting game so i feel so a transformation is bound to happen especially when it comes to the spiritual Sense. i'm also getting again a lot of sexual energy coming in here so i feel so there's going to be some type of sexual revelation for you this december but whatever it is i feel so it's like a slow build up and you kind of have to like work your way through it if that makes sense okay i'm going to check the bottom of the deck here we got the king of wands you may be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i don't know if this also came up previously in your other cards i've been doing readings all day but yeah you may be dealing with a fire sign Whoever this is, I feel as though they are um, coming to you, especially if there was a distance between you two. I'm picking up on a two-hour drive or two-hour time difference. I'm feeling like someone is coming to visit you and they're putting in all the work and all of the energy into meeting with you, especially if this is someone that you have been going back and forth with um, text messages, DMs or something, and you've been arguing. I feel so this person wants to make it up to you and they're coming to you with an apology, okay? Or at least some type of offering. Um, can be a present also, so yeah okay so i hope that that was helpful in any way um again sorry about the delay and i will make sure to be early for your next month's reading okay i love you guys i'll talk to you later